Yo, what's up? It's your boy Dragon back with another tutorial. And in today's tour, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make a Bruce drop and mouse thumbnail tutorial, like you see on the screen. So, with all that being said, let's get into the video. If you like the video or help you out, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and let's get into it. All right. So, the first thing we wanna do is open Photoshop, and then after that, you wanna go to File and New, and you wanna pick 1280 by 720. After you do that, go to File and then Open. And I'm just gonna get the image. And if you wanna know how to screenshot like HD screenshots from the YouTube videos and stuff like that or live screens, let me know and I got you. But I'm gonna be using this. And if you need the screenshot, because I don't trust myself by saying I'm gonna put it in the comment section. If you need it, hit me up in the comment section or Discord, any of my social media, and I got you. But just hit control C on this, and then you wanna go over here and you wanna hit control V to paste it, like so. And we just gonna make this the size we want to. So I probably bring this over a little bit and make it about this big and yeah make it something like something like that right there so after you do that hit p on your keyboard and what this is going to do is bring you to the pen tool and then you want to hit control and the plus them to zoom in and just kind of drag this thing across and we're going to start cutting it out now you don't have to like zoom in that much but i'm gonna just zoom in with mine and cut it out and you can just drag and stuff. And I have a cutout tutorial on my channel already, but if you need an updated one, let me know in the comment section. But I'm gonna speed this cutting out process up and I'm gonna be back with y'all when I'm done with it. So once you basically get to the end, just connect the dots and right click and you want to make selection and make sure your feather rays on one or however much you want to do really. But next thing you want to do is go to the polygonal lasso tool over here. And if you don't already have it, just right click, then go to the lasso tool. And you want to right click on this to let inverse it. Only do that if you had a problem like, and the problem I have, if I hit control J, it'll do this. So only do that if you had that problem. But if you don't, just um, hit control J on the image like you see me do. And now that you got this, we're gonna hit control and the plus symbol again to zoom in and we just gonna cut out these little sections. And I'm gonna speed this part up and me cutting these sections out and I'm gonna be back with y'all. So now I'm the last one. I'm just finished cutting this out. And next thing I'm gonna do, you see we got the background. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna go down here, hue and saturation, and you wanna colorize it. And you can really set the color whatever you want. I'm gonna do this color on this one, like a color like this. Next thing you wanna do is go up here, blend the options, and we're gonna pick outer glow. And as you can see, I already got some on there in the shadow. And we're gonna pick this inner shadow. So to add another inner shadow, you will hit the plus symbol. But you can copy these cells right here because it's pretty much what I'm gonna use on it. And you can go down here to the human saturation. You can turn out the lightness if you like want to shine look a little bit better or something. But right now, after that, you can go to brightness and contrast, create a clipping mask by clicking that, or you can right click it and then go to create clip mask. And you just want to up the brightness on this image right here. You can also Create, I mean, do another one. Go to brightness and contrast, up the brightness of the background, and turn the lightness down a little bit if you want, but it's up to you. So I'm gonna go up here, also add some contrast to the image, also. So next thing I'm gonna do is go to file open, and I'm gonna open up some emoji. And like I say, anything from this video you need, just let me know. But I am gonna leave a PSD with this. So if you need anything from the video, let me know in the comment section or hit me up on Discord or whatever. But I'm gonna open up those and I'll be back with y'all. All right, so I'm gonna get the laughing emoji and control C, come over here, uh, create a new layer. Cause if you hit control V right here, it worked, I'm tripping. <laughs> I'm tripping, hold up. Well, it ain't worked that time, but I thought it was gonna mess up like it just did. But I just created a new layer, hit control V, and we gonna keep that right there. I'm just bringing a uh, text box also, and it'll go like right here. So I'm gonna use this, and it's some of them that's longer. Like if you want a text box or something, hit me up. I try to reply to all of my comments, especially the ones like where people need help, I definitely reply to those. But if you need this, just let me know, I got you. So hit control C on it, and you wanna come over here, hit control V, 
and I'm gonna leave it right here for right now and I'll do I'm not gonna put it right there but what you want to do like is right click this go to the horizontal title tool and create a new text and hit um, I'm gonna just put LMAO and then right like this across it pick the black color up here and the fun I'm gonna be using is Burbank big condensed I'm gonna try to remember to lead in the conversation <laughs> but you can just put text in here and yeah i'm gonna put this but instead i'm, I'm putting it all cap so yeah do that mess with the size by clicking on it and i'm kind of pulling it over the arrow keys but now that you're done with that hold control and you already got this layer so just hold control pick the one down here then hit control e while holding control like on those layers or whatever and after that you should have both the layers so you want to click this make it a little bit smaller and you can hold control and like drag this side to kind of make it tilt into the image like you see what i'm saying so probably something like that so after that you can do it a little bit more if you feel like that doesn't look that good but just do it until like what you feel like good on me back with y'all all right so after that right click it go to blend options and what we're gonna do is add a drop shadow and this like basically the settings instead of right settings let me see I think I had a draw shadow on the wrong layer, but just right click, blend options, add a little draw shadow, and yeah, that's the right layer. So you can basically can add one like that. That's what I was gonna kind of make it look like. So you can just add one like that, and copy those settings, and yeah. So next thing we got is the emoji, and I'm gonna make that smaller by clicking on this side, and I'm gonna put one up here because I know like his thumbnails definitely have a lot of emojis. So put one like right up here. And yeah, do something like that. Right click, blend the options. Matter of fact, you don't have to do that. Just go down here, right click, copy layer style, go up here, right click, paste layer style, and you should have something like this. And then you can control J this and bring it down here also. I think we like two different emojis on the screen. I know it'd be like, so you can hit control J and really like pull one over here also. And you can go to um, filter, blur, and gauge and blur on it or something like that so it can look something like this but yeah you can have that so you have three different emojis on the screen and next thing i'm doing i put like the image over here or what i want and i'm gonna put some in the background matter of fact i'm gonna put an effect on the background so i'm gonna go to file and open and get that all right so the fix i got with the swirl effect and i got the animated lines effect so i'm gonna hit control c on this come over here hit control v and go to screen and yeah just put it on here try not to like make it too Sith of, I guess if you want to say that but definitely put it on here if you try to make your thumbnail similar so you have something like that and then you want to hit control C come over here control V with the swirl lines create a new layer or if, if you want I'm gonna try it again yeah it don't work I don't know why I worked that first time but I just created a new layer with it hit control V and made this kind of bigger and then go to overlay and yeah you can have something like that and you can lower the opacity with it also so if you don't want it to like too much going on you can do that and make sure you hit control is to say your words so i'm gonna just stay and say this is um i don't know why i'd be calling them bc i just say bc dom tutorial psd something like that and i'm gonna put an image back here so i'm gonna go get a screenshot and i'm gonna be back with y'all Looking for some funny tweets. Let me see some. Oh, this is like a good one right here. All right, so to get a tweet, like uh, if you want like a certain image, I'm gonna just get a tweet though. What you wanna do is hold shift key, then hold shift and hold, I mean click S and it, this should pop up. So this is like the snap tool. I think you type it in on your little window board down there, but just drag this down across like the whole thing. And then after that, that little thing should pop up like on the side. You can just let that go away. And then you want to go to Photoshop again and just hit Control V. It's going to bring up the actual tweet. And what you can do after this is put it behind the actual image like this. And it should look something like that. So, yeah. If you feel like the emoji is too far out, you can bring it in some a lot this click lock on that but yeah you can bring it in some 
Yeah, yeah, look at my boy Zach up on. Let me find out. But yeah, just right click blend the options. Go to scroll. Then you want to add a drop shadow. Probably up the size on this one. At a distance, it's up to you. But yeah, basically just something like this. And yeah. And you can make it a little smaller if you feel like it's too big. But that's pretty much all I would do for the thumbnail. So now I'm going to show y'all a little fix I add and stuff like that. Let's just turn it to that. All right, so the first thing I want to do is hold shift on the top layer. Then go all the way down while holding shift and click on the bottom layer. Then you want to group everything. Make sure you hit control S to say your word once more. Next thing you want to do is hit control J. Then hit control and E. And you want to hit M on your keyboard to go to the marquee tool. And you can just go over here and right click. Go to it also or either just tap it but drag this cross then hit control j when you drag it across correctly now what you want to do is right click convert this to a smart object after go to filter and we're going to go to camera raw filter i'm going to show you what i'm going to add all right so now that you're in camera raw filter you want to up the texture now i really don't know how much you want to do it's really up to you because there's a lot of fix in here but one i know for sure that will probably look decent on this is texture and maybe contrast also but i'm gonna do that outside of this so just do the texture for right now and you can hit okay all right after that you can go to filter and magic bullet looks now i use this also but the first time i tried to practice on the stone now i really didn't use it that much so i probably take the fusion off and just keep chromatic aberration on if i'm saying that right aberration on no, aberration shoot but you can just up this and I only use green slash magenta and I do have a tutorial specifically on these type of thumbnails on my effects that I use so if you want to look for this go look at that video and I got you but click on that once you're done with it and you should have like this little kind of glitch effect on certain things if you add a lot depending just depending on how much you add it but then you want to go to filter and topaz labs and after this you can go to mild details and you can mess with the strength a little bit so it can look something like that now that you got all this you can control j and then go to filter and blur and go to gaussian blur and i'm probably put my own something like two and then go to lighter color and you can probably lower the opacity and leave it on something like that now what you want to do is create a new layer it'd be on your keyboard and hold alt pick a, hold alt pick a color and then click with that hold alt click again to pick the color and then click and just do this like around certain spots especially the emojis first and we're going to go to screen on them and then keep it high kind of like this because i noticed some like on these thumbnails the emojis still had a little glow effect on it a lot but on these i might end up taking off topaz lab though because i feel like it's a little too much of a thick and I'm gonna take Topaz labs off of those, and that's why I like the smart objects. So I'm gonna take those off and I'll be back with y'all. All right, so now I took it off, it probably looks a little different, but after that, go to I mean, go down there. We got the brightness of contrast and go to vibrance, and we're gonna up the vibrance and the saturation. So we did that. Next thing we want to do is go to brightness and contrast, and we're just gonna mess with the contrast right now. All right, so now that we did all that, create a new layer, hit B on your keyboard, and we're gonna go over to the color picker and pick the black color. And we're just going to go across the edges with it. I mean, along the edges with it. And, yeah, something like this. And you can set the soft light or normal. And just lower the opacity a little bit. And after, it should look something like that. And that's pretty much how you do the thumbnail. Now, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe. But before I actually do end it, just make sure you hit control S to say your word, like I keep saying. The next thing you want to do is go to file export and then export as and yeah once you get right here click export again and i'm just name that file and that's pretty much how you do it now like if you want to change the color real quick i'm just show you like as an example keep all the little things on there but let's just say you want to change the color it's not hard to change it if you want to just pick another color just go down here hue and saturation the color I might go to might end up looking better than the ones I chose. But you just do that. And dang, it might actually look better. I don't know what it is by me and the color purple. I love the color purple. But yeah, you just it's just very easy to change it. So right click, copy, layer style, and basically just paste it on everything. So you'll go to the emoji. 
Take the lyrics down. Paste it. Paste it. And that's pretty much how you do it. And I'm not gonna lie, red, I mean purple actually looks better. Maybe purple and red just go together or something. Or something I'm missing out on. But I'm gonna actually use this in my thumbnail for the video. But if you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, bring your boy Dragon. Peace out.